Last time on Honor Bound. We rejoin as our party starts gathering the spoils of battle. Plate mail, and I take my backpack off and start donning the dragon's plates. Last time uh, over my Honor current Bound. suit of suit of tatters. We which, rejoin as our party. Because I'm assuming it's a lot bigger than I am, so I'm going to need the extra. So I'm basically just going to put on two suits of armor and I take, take a short back rest before setting out to explore the key. Last time. Do a hallway. Um, there are just dust cobwebs in the corners. It's a hallway. Um, it's just a straight hallway with no doors or anything. Just a straight hallway with That's no doors. I searched the fuck out of that hallway. No one builds a hallway that dead ends without like there has to be something on this. Research even included the filthy privets. It's a hallway. Why don't you hold that into the rope and I'll hold this end. The rope. And I'm gonna tie it around my waist. And I'm gonna go head down into one of these suckers, and we're gonna see what we can find. There's gonna be some loot down here. Okay. I'm going after this penny, and you don't drop me, Martur. You do not <laughs> drop me. And it's only a matter of time before they run into danger. You can see a weird creature floating in the air, uh, head almost decapitated, its face distorted and mutilated, its body scarred, its eyes fixed on you. I closed the door. Our brave adventurers attempted to communicate with the apparition instead of fighting it. Here, you hear a wail. This wail is not frightening. It is a wail that inspires pity. So like a very sad blue wail? A sad blue wail. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a wail singing. Yes, exactly. It takes the party some trial and error. A very sharp, uh, very sharp whale. The first kind of whale I did you. Okay. Do you, do you want us to bury everyone's body? The whale is the same. Well, this is, this is just a typical woman right here. She just won't tell you what she wants. But eventually, they solve the mystery. It's, it's y'all. It's y'all is in the picture. We have found Zial's wife and child. Let us right. put them to rest. They deserve it. All right, I'm scooping up the baby on uh, on my shield. After promising the ghost revenge and laying the remains of Zial's wife and child to rest, they continue their search and encounter the Minotaur, who they promptly deal with. I grab some food. As much as I would love to, to test my metal against a Minotaur in martial combat, I think I'll Save that for Whatever, this counts as defeating him. Later we, down the bucket we've list. We've solved the Minotaur problem. That's the same as defeating him. We get the experience. Let's just leave. I don't think we do get the experience. <laughs> oh, I guess we know. Yeah, we gave him the badge. Yeah, we gave okay. him the badge. We solved yeah. the dilemma. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. I, grab some, I grab some food and get out of there. Okay. The brave adventurers find a bridge from the keep that extends across a river to the castle and decide to cross it, only to find it guarded by an enormous troll. So you guys want to fight that instead of just pay it money? I, I'm gonna. I'm shooting an arrow if he's talking. I, I'm, all, I'm all, shooting. I'm all fighting. the gear oppose me. Marfo, do you do anything on your turn? Come on. Uh, what do you do? You have six seconds. Go. Uh, I'll. I mean, I'll draw my hammer and I'll ready an action if the troll. This doesn't gets sound like we're in combat. Why do we melee want range? This? Like battle is fierce, and the party is brought to the brink of defeat. But then Marta turns the tide of battle and saves the day. I won't be able to react, so I don't actually know, but I'll, be, I'll, I'll like take the finger out and be like, Wait! Wait! We're willing to pay for passage across the bridge. Stop negotiating, you fool, and push with me! And as I'm walking up to give him the finger, I surprise him and push him off the bridge. Are you serious? <laughs> Bruised and battered, after pushing the troll off the bridge, the party retreats back into the keep to rest for the night, and also to level up. Fortunately, other than hearing lots of movement from beyond the safety of their room, the night passes uneventfully. As day breaks, the party, now rejuvenated and stronger, attempt to cross the bridge once more. And from either side of the bridge is behind you, appear the uh, wizard people that seem to have been populating area 26 just from the older bridge. In front of you and behind you, there are several shapes. We have five, five behind you and five in front of you. The party handily defeats all but a few of the lizard men. The remainder flee into the castle, 
The party follows, only to find a group of ghouls awaiting them. Bowen unleashes one of his new abilities. So raising my holy symbol, presenting my holy symbol on my shield, I call for the warriors of, of past battle, past glory to come forth and protect me and my comrades. Um, okay, I, I'm so to just... take the form of very attractive, tall Nordic women wielding <laughs> shields and swords and spears. Okay, so what happens when you actually me. affect what the spell? Uh, not a lot. They're wearing like absurd little chainmail chainkinis. This ability obliterates the ghouls and brings the session to an end. But what lies ahead in the castle? Find out next time on Honor Bound. Hey everybody, and welcome to Honor Bound Redemption of the New Guard. Sorry for the late start. Uh, I was driving back from San Francisco, and let's give major credit to Layla and her team for creating that intro. I still actually haven't heard it, but did you guys listen to it? It was fantastic. It was, was it? Awesome. Good. Oh, awesome. I'm glad. I who figured did, they did a good who job. Did the, who did the voiceover? I assume Layla, but oh, I don't wow. really know. She's, she's got a very sultry British accent. It's perfect. Yeah. Yes, it was. I was that was very enjoyable. Uh, I do that for every episode. <laughs> well, we're working on it. We're working on it. We we'll see how it goes. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Long time no see. Yes, I I've been streaming a lot of Dragon Age Inquisition, and just about it. I mean, I haven't done much besides my regular schedule. Nothing important to tell. What about cool. you guys? I've been playing a lot of Valkyria Chronicles on the suggestion of uh, someone from my chat. And? It's really fun. It's uh, Isn't that an older game? It's a PS3 game that recently okay. got ported to the PC. But it's like a strategy RPG, so they recommended it because I play so much FFT. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's actually a lot of fun. I would encourage you to check it out, actually. I think you'd like it. All right. Ryan, how about you? Uh, I don't know. Just a lot of holiday stuff. Travels and... Yeah. The usual holiday stuff well yeah. cool um chucky you want to take it away i think we all know where we left off more or less now exactly except for me so you, you guys know where we left off i mean we're in a, we're in a castle we almost died to a troll right yeah you, you actually know you uh, that was at it was like two number. encounters ago yeah, yeah. oh yeah. oh that's right we even made it down to this hallway i got I it all that's... Currently, I'm casting anime dead on some ghouls. That's where we are right now. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good. So, uh, I mean, you guys are in the hallway. You have, you can see a door. You can see the hallway bending over to your left. And that's about it. So, what's happening? I take a minute to cast anime dead on these ghouls. Do they get the zombie stat block or the skeleton stat block? All right. I'm not, I'm not going to wait a minute. So okay, I'm. So what's we like left off in the heat of battle. I've still got my like my Valkyrie guardians, and well, we I mean, just yeah we like stopped mid mid charge. Well, we killed. So them, I, right? I'm going to continue, presumably. I don't know. Okay, so we yeah, I, but I'm, during that minute, I'm going to continue exploring. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. So you continue on doing that, um, Felin. What's happening with you? And then we'll go. Uh, I'm sticking close to Bowen. Bow out. Okay. Uh, kind of just so shadowing Bowen. him where he goes. You're the leader here. Move your. Um. So I'll go ahead and step around that corner. Do I have? You have control. There we go. Okay. And you this. Step around the corner, and this is what you see. Can you describe it for me? Is it just a long, empty, bare hallway lined with doors? A long, empty hallway lined with doors. That is exactly what you see. All right. Um, I nudge Bowen in the ribs and say, you want to check the doors behind us while I keep an eye out down here? Sure. All right. Then I notch an arrow and get it ready to loose at anything that steps out into that hallway. So I'm going to go open that set of double doors right there. You put your head on the... You put your hand on the lever and start, start to... Budget, but it doesn't move at all. Uh, do you want a strength check or something? Uh, yeah, definitely. You can do me a strength check. Mm. 
Oh, nope. Absolutely nothing happens. I'll give up and try the first door. Okay, which we first can door? We back okay. to that later. Uh, the only first door. Okay, you put your hand on it and uh, you try to open it. It easily budges open. And I'm going to reveal this for you. Inside, you can see several cells this seems to be the prison or whatever this uh, facility is um down below over on this side you can see a female dwergar piled up in her own feces it's a it's a horrible sight uh, and then oh, you have god she must have, have had human. the same thanksgiving experience i did <laughs> what what <laughs> do you want to elaborate on that at all i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've seen what Aaron's cooking does to you, man. <laughs> this is the Good moment where I wish she watches this yeah, show. Shots were fired. Shots were fired. <sighs> Alright, so dead, I assume? Uh, no, she is still alive. She is, <laughs> she's shaking in a corner. And then you have a human over on here. I'm actually going to mark them. So you have a D over here, and you have a human naked. Uh, he is okay. Just... Yeah. Go on. All right. I've got to actually be careful because um, I think my spirit guardians are indiscriminate and they just start hacking people to bits as soon as they come within 15 feet of me. Wait, so I'm does just that mean they attack me? The uh, no, I designated you two as protected from the start of the spell. Okay. But I think I only get to pick. Yeah, when I cast the spell, I designate. Otherwise, they just start slaughtering anyone that enters the area. This seems like a pretty strange holy spell. Enters the area, starts its turn, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't specify alignment or anything. It's just, like, dishing out radiant damage. I think walking over them doesn't count, though, so they'd have to have a turn after you walked into them. Mm -hmm. That's still pretty dangerous, though. Yeah, but it's not like I can go in there and help without dispelling my... Is that Hobgoblin, Hobgoblin Duragar? Uh, no, those are humans. Uh, human, 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 human Duragar. Okay. Yeah. Human, so human Duragar. Okay, wait. That's what's... So this is like chamber pots. This is, no, this no, is no. their bathroom? No, this is not their bathroom. This is a jail. Oh, oh, they're in cells. They're in cells, yes. Okay. I thought they were in toilet stalls. <laughs> <laughs> Bowen! What do you see, Bowen? Uh, we've got some prisoners. Leave them! Are they alive? Yeah. I... Uh... Relatively. No use to me, then. Alright. Um, you can hear, you can hear uh, a moan shit. coming from one of the humans, and a human female above right, puts a hand on the on bet in between the grates and says, Help me. Um... Uh... Theron... Hmm. You can take a look at the prisoners. Why do I have to I'm, look at the prisoners? I'm watching I, the hallway. I'm, I'm like in the heat of battle. I've got my Valkyries for 10 minutes, so I'm just like running around, weapons in hand. Hoping to find something. Hoping to find something to hit. All right, I start running back towards the prisoners, and I yell at Martyr. Martyr, what the hell are you doing? Come on! And then I, I take a peek in. How badly are it's these? It's got to have been a minute by now, right? Uh, No, I've only moved like 40 or 50 yeah. feet. Yeah, not yet. So that's like 10, 6 seconds. Yeah. Um, it has not been a minute. How is it a ritual, or is that just how long the spell takes? No, that should Justin be just froze. how long the spell takes. Justin, Justin, where are uh, you? I'll be right. I'll be cast, cast, cast. Oh, you you skipped a little bit there, Justin. Yeah, I said I'll be there in forty more seconds. That was weird. Um, how bad condition are these humans and this Duragar in? The Jorga is not in that bad of a state. Mm -hmm. The human male is just shaking and he has hollow eyes and cheeks. He seems to be close to death, but he is still alive. And the human female above is, uh, well, even for an elf, you can find her. She is quite attractive and she is. she does not seem to have suffered much at the hands of this whatever. Wait, to she's an elf? Her. No, I'm no. an elf. For an elf, I still think oh. she's attractive. She is. <laughs> Very I don't understand. That's okay. racist. Uh, I, I look in and say, we'll come back for you guys later, and shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> you, hear, you hear voices from inside as you shut the door. Okay, and then oh. I, I 
run after Martur. You Bowen? Okay? Martur is doing unspeakable Bowen. things. To, yes, Bowen, to not Martur. Bodies back there. They're um, cool. What is this thingy right here that I'm pinging? It looks like a window or something. There's an odd no, brick no, no, here. No. What the fuck is that no, shit? No, just odd brick. Just an odd brick. You sure? Try pushing on the odd brick. That's I push on the odd brick. You you push on the odd brick, and you hear. <sighs> this is okay. <laughs> this I'm is joking. one uh, one I'm problem joking. with the top down battle map. <laughs> I'm joking. You don't okay, there is no secret me. entrance. There is no secret entrance. I was just joking. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I would like. No, no, forget. Jokes over. All right. Uh, I follow after Bowen. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down the hall, opening door after door. Uh, so. For the record, I'm following like 20 feet behind him, so if something happens, I still have enough range that I can pick targets easily and I don't get caught in the battle. Admit it, you're intimidated by my chain keeny wielding Valkyries. I don't have to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stand back and let the Valkyries and you just do your shit and I'm gonna keep my distance. Okay, so you know what's happening right now? You need to do me a constitution saving throw as you open that door. I do? Does like a dart sink into my skin or something? Oh no, not another dart. Nope, nope. The smell hits you in the face. Ew. Oh. Chucky's been here. 13. 13 is enough. You do, you do manage to keep your, well, your lunch inside of you. Inside of this, uh, what seems to be a storeroom, there are hangings of human uh, intestines, human body parts, elven, dwarven, even dwergar. Uh, there is an odd minotaur head to the side. The whole room is almost covered in blood. And it... there are bodies almost everywhere. Some Does... are decaying, some are not decaying. Right, it's it's a, a slaughterhouse, a slaughter room to put it like that. Is it rotting? Like, why did I make a constitution save? It is rotting, yes. Okay. Yuck. And there is no window. What a waste of some perfectly good meat. Okay, I move on. Didn't he say they were human remains? Me. Yeah. How is that a waste of per That's <laughs> terrible meat. That's useless meat. <laughs> Do you want to get Kuru? Because that's how you get Kuru. <laughs> Whoever they're feeding it to probably likes rotten meat. Uh, oh, that guess thought does not cross my mind. It's a whole <laughs> castle really, filled with British that... people. It is the first thing that occurred to me. <laughs> okay, I shut the door behind me and continue down. You shut the door behind you and you continue down. I continue following. What is that disease Disease called? Hufu? Kuru. 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 What is, is that It's like? what you get from eating human brains. It's basically the human equivalent of mad cow disease. Huh. Yeah, it's not fun. So let's Brain. just not eat their brains. Well, yeah, that, that could happen. But, you know, sometimes things get mixed up and... Shit happens. This is out of character. Yeah. Ryan may be curious about cannibalism, but that one's <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, next door on the right. <laughs> next door on the right, uh, you try and open it, and it doesn't budge. What the fuck, Bowen? Open the door! <laughs> uh, nope. Get out of the way. Let me door do this. On the left. I come up and try and bust down the door. You still haven't picked up a pair of thieves tools. <laughs> Get out of the way! Oh god, Bone, this is really this is really stuck. You're right, you're right, never mind. Hold on. And I back up and get my bow back out. So, um, opening this door, you see another set of uh, cells, but this time with an opening uh, going up to your right. Inside of the cells, you can see at right here. One second. Two children that seem to be twins uh, <laughs> sitting in a corner. And a How can human. we see them from here? We have like no uh, angle on them. I mean, you're peering inside. Okay. I'm guessing you're peering inside. Maybe you can hear the pathetic whimpers. I mean, I'd, I'd assume I'd, twin children. Sure. Sure, whatever. I'm just trying to give Chucky a hard time. Contemplating standing there for a few seconds and letting my Valkyries do my work on these creepy ass children. But I'm going to continue moving down that around that corner. Are you going to try and keep your Valkyries away from them? Um, I think if I move past them within a round, it's fine. Yeah. But if, okay. if they have to spend a turn in my aura of... I don't even know. Aura of sexiness. Yeah. 
Um, yes. I will stay in this hallway and continue covering the remaining doors um, and occasionally glancing towards Bowen. Okay. So what do you do next, Bowen? I'm going around that corner. What do I see down the down the hallway? You go around that corner, and as soon as you go around that corner... I oh, wait. Sh when, it, when it affect... Check. Hold on. Uh, what kind of check? Perception check. Uh... Oh, I guess I haven't updated all of my things since I leveled up. 23. Nice. 23. That is so, enough. Gone? I was just going to say, my so the, my spell does say when a creature enters the area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there. I'm assuming forced, being forced, in, like me approaching a creature. Doesn't count as entering it. Doesn't count on it as entering it, does it? I wouldn't think so. That's like in 4E, that's how it worked. Uh, and that's when they started using that language. So, yeah. Mm, so it definitely Chucky, says what do you think? the creature enters. Yeah, but it's not the creature entering. When the creature the enters, covering the creature. When the creature yes, enters the area for the first time on a turn. I would say I would say that the creature needs to enter it, not you walking towards it. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. But Just according to sure relativity, action. they're the same thing, everyone. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you walk inside and you look to the side and you are just your reactions are fast enough to see the two creatures that were waiting for you in this room. Horrible looking creatures. These are one second, let me find the image of them and show them to you. Dressed all in uh, studded weather with long swords, both long swords in their, in their hands. So they like big heavy them. punk jackets with spikes all over them? No, this is yeah. Oh, okay. Because that's fuck? kind of a better stud. What the fuck are these? I know it what these like are. Demi vampires or something. Right. Marcher, cancel your spell. I found something cooler. <laughs> 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 but you still get attacked. Though you, though they have no, no advantage on you. Okay. They have, like ready in action or something? Okay, so as soon as they, they are speeded, where did they, can you put them on the map? Yes, they're there. The little okay. so um, can move inside and they are attacking. Okay, so their speed is halved. I think they can still close, uh, but they have to make a saving throw versus spell. Well, I one of them doesn't because neither of you, you enter through one of the squares. But it's their but it's their turn, right? Yes. No, they're turn. reacting. Or they're reacting. They're reacting, so it's yes, your turn. Reacting the idea you're moving, and then it's going to be a. Uh, okay, so I can still att I'll be able to attack them in just a second. Yes. All right. Cool. Yeah, after That's initiative. Cool. After right. initiative. After, no, it's my turn right now. So they're they are getting a triggered reaction. So make their attacks, and then I get to finish my turn. No, the idea is that you walk inside. They had a... Uh, an action prepared. Yeah, but in order yeah, to have an action, action prepared, they would have had to have a turn, which means they were in initiative, which means it's still Ryan's turn. So yes, after they attack, right. he gets to attack. You have a point. It's his you turn. Have a point. Yeah. Yep. And then That's we okay. roll initiative. We have a... Let me see the bonus. Why fast? Four, two. Okay, that is a 22 and a 22 hit. Uh, I have AC 21, so the 22 hits. Oh, mm. crap. I'm pretty beat what? up. Yeah. You didn't check oh, your okay. HP, first thing? I don't, I don't know why you ran off. I mean, I've got spell slots, I think. I don't you, actually you know do. where I am. You've only cast one spell, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, dude. Okay. Do me a, so do me a constitution saving throw. Yeah, you didn't cast anything last session, yeah. So one of I them have closes all my to me. Spell slots. <gasps> yeah. Do. Or do they both close in front of the doorway, and I'm gonna just murder these children? Exactly. They both close in, in front of the doorway. Uh, constitution saving throw. Yes. Oh God. Oh Fail. God. Okay. So, your maximum hit points are now. You take um, ten points of damage. And uh, is that mad? What kind of damage? Uh, slashing damage. Non-magical slashing? Non-magical slashing. Alright. Okay, and your maximum hit points are reduced by 10. Bullshit. <laughs> I probably, I, it's probably actually not a big deal. Yeah. Those status effects were much worse in earlier editions. I, I probably got a spell memmed right now that can take care of it. Um, you should. So, so alright, rest of my turn. So are they blocking the doorway? Yes, both of them are. Move your character in because you're in. Right. Oh wait, should and we? Are like, we rolling initiative? 
Yes, after after. Uh, I've still got to turn. Wait, move my character in where? I don't understand what in, happened. In the room. You're going in the room. They were waiting for. So I stepped in the doorway and then they. Okay. Exactly. That's exactly how it looks like. All right. So I will take a. Yeah. I'll take a few steps forward so the children don't get accidentally caught in my whirlwind of death. And slide past these guys, turn around, and make some attacks against them. Do it. Um, 12 to hit. Um, I'll use my channel divinity on that. Make it a 22. Okay, that is a hit. All your damage? Yeah. Ouch. Four points of damage. Okay, what is that? Is that bludgeoning damage? Uh, magical bludgeoning. Magical bludgeoning damage. Um, and I am going to cast a spell. I'm use a second okay. second level healing word. Uh, 2d4 plus 1? Or is it plus 2? Plus 1. I think. Oh no, plus spell casting modifier? Let me double check. Okay, but I do heal myself. And initiative. Initiative. Okay, everybody owe me initiative. How far away am I from my spell being finished? Uh, I mean, they moved an additional two turns, I would say, so he was six turns away still. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. No, he was. He was two. He was. We. He said we. Well, I was like forty He's seconds 40 away. Seconds, when he was here. Forty yeah. seconds. Yeah. I've had one, two, so three away. turns since then. Yeah, because I went down. And then back up, and then and back we both down, made, and we over. We made an athletic check over. against several doors. Yeah, I'm like two or three turns away at most. So yeah, it's got to be just about, about now. About ten seconds, like yeah, three rounds. Okay. And you can probably hear these shouts of pain and agony down the hallway. Probably. As my life force is being sucked out by whatever these monsters are. Yep. Exactly. He is screaming like a baby. Okay, I know it's all initiative. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what do we have on Bowen? Uh, 16. Bowen, you will be going first, so you can continue on your turn. Alrighty. And then we have Martha, well, Bowen, the creatures, Martha, and Theron. Uh, go on. 13 to hit. Why don't we test out their AC? You, 13 to hit is a miss. Okay. Um, use all of my backs. It's been so long since we played, I can't even remember. Um, I'm going to use a first level spell slot to heal myself as well. Okay, wait, shit. Hold on a sec. D20. I need to make a constitution save for my concentration from last round. Um, fuck. So I do lose my Valkyries. Okay, so you do lose your Valkyries. That's no that's, fair. That sucks. Oh, that's too bad. I'm, I'm feeling like I need to art because they managed to close into my spirit guardians without actually getting affected by them. That's some oh, BS yeah, well, right there. One second. Um. Sorry, gone. Uh, I'll just heal myself for another five. Well, the fact is, I would say that in one of them did not close, but the other did move because you entered to one side. Well, it couldn't have moved, right? Because it, it could couldn't have moved because reaction. But still, the react yeah, Bowen did move inside, so he. The creature I mean, we need range enough. Whatever we're doing here is sort of setting a precedent for forcing creatures into AOE yes, spells. Well, I think if a creature's forced into an AoE spell, that's one thing, but if you walk if you put the AoE spell over them, it's different. I know that's how it worked in 4E. I, I don't think 5E has clear rules on it. I just know that's no. when they started using that language. I think for the moment we should stick it stick to yeah, how we do it. It just feel yeah, it doesn't feel I mean it I don't know. It, it doesn't feels, feel intuitive. I get what you mean. I get it doesn't feel right for like a to have this aura of protection and then a creature can close knock you out of concentration without even being affected by the aura just because of the way the turn order works but then again it also seems kind of crappy to be able to like force creatures into this i don't know yes well yeah, we can I, talk about it another time yeah 
Yeah, we'll talk about it in the break. So, let's go or continue on with initiative and the creatures. With it. Plus my spellcasting ability modifier. So I actually gain more HP than I had said. Nice. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, just the ability modifier, though, not the proficiency. Anyways, sorry, I'm talking to myself. Okay, Carry so on the, creatures, the creatures. No, no, no. The creatures basically sheathe one of their weapons and attack you. Attack you with a long sword and try and touch you with the right of hand. The same, the same way the other creature uh, touched you just a couple of seconds ago. Okay, and we have a 19 and a 21. Uh, the 19 is a miss. The 21 is a hit. 21 is a hit. So another Constitution save and throw. 20. 20. You managed to resist the effects of this foul touch. And it is now the turn of Marfo Cole. Do I not take any damage? Nope. Uh, the other attacks were way too low to hit you. So my spell Wait, will I... be finished casting next turn. I'm confused. Wait, last time I took damage and I had my hit point max reduced. Yes. Yeah. They did and not this, hit. And this turn, oh, they just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Me, me being stupid. Me being stupid. So the they damage had... from the touch in itself. Yeah. So you do take seven points of damage. Okay. I continue to cast my spell. I'm almost done. You continue to cast your spell. So only two turns left until you can jump into or do whatever you want to do. Well, it should be finished at the start of my next turn. We said we said three turns. This would be the. Uh, this would be the second. We said, we said eighteen second seconds so left, and then Ryan pointed out that they they'd done two athletic checks, which is another turn. So there should be two turns left, and then there's this turn. So it should be ended. It should be finished. No, Twelve seconds. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Okay. Good. So, so uh, Theron's turn. Okay. Uh, hearing the cries. I step forward. I can easily make that movement. And I want to stick these guys are just too far apart to actually horde breaker, which is unfortunate. I think they're within five yeah, feet of no, each other. We decided we decide it's not center to center, it's line to line. Okay, cool. In that case. Um, you can use horde breaker. Yeah, in that case, it's D20 plus 11 against the first guy. 16. 16 as a hit. Oh, you're attacking the one north on the south? left. Yeah, this this guy on the top. Okay, good. Seven damage to him, then horde breaker onto the other guy. Ooh, natural one. Natural one is a miss. And then I get my second shot because I get two attacks plus horde breaker, and the second shot is going to be on the top guy still for twenty three. Do me damage. And eighteen damage. You don't do plus 11 to damage. No, I don't. I do plus 6 to damage. I'm sorry. The plus 11 is my roll to hit. <laughs> That's still uh, pretty 5 absurd. less than that. 13 damage. 13. 13 points of damage. Not 18. I'm sorry. I lied. I'm a bad human. You're a bad human being. Okay. Which one have I been hitting, Chucky? Uh, you have been hitting the one above okay. as well. Okay. So after that, we have Bowen. Good focus fire. Yeah. Um... Take him down. Debating what to do. Uh, plus. I'll start by taking a hit against him and see what happens. 24. Is a hit. D8. Do I need to declare that I use a weapon charge before I strike? Is that how this works? Uh, yes, we said that we need to declare before you even attack, but then after okay. you declare it, uh, the next attack is going to be using that charge. Yeah. All right. Six points of damage. Six points of damage against this creature. Mm -hmm. That is still up and going. Okay. Anything more um, in turn? You have my bonus action that I should use. Uh... Oh, these guys are probably undead. I should have used my channel divinity on that, huh? Mm -hmm. Um... I'll go ahead and use a first level spell slot to cast Shield of Faith on myself and pound my chest and go the creatures to continue attacking me instead of Theron. Okay. I probably uh, have more so HP we... left than you. But do you have 23 AC? No, and, I don't and, have 23 And a damage AC. reduction of 3? 
No, I don't have that either. <laughs> Man. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's see about these, uh, my creatures. They will try and attack you again with the same composition. So, touch and long sword attacks. 22 on a touch, and that's about it. That's a miss! Good call, Shield of Faith. That is a miss. Good. So, that is their turn, and they look disconcerted and say, ah, We will drain yourself from your body, and you'll become our servant, Goelic, as many as of your order did. Yeah, that was longer than six seconds. That's exactly what I was going to say. My turn again. <laughs> Master, go. <laughs> mm. Martha and ghouls. I raise my ghouls from the yeah. What do I what do I have now? <sighs> do I get the actual ghouls or do I get like zombies? No, I won't. Oh, let's look. I'll do any zombie Pretty spell. Let's see. No, there might be the, there the spell says if I raise it from a pile of bones, I get a, a skeleton, and if I raise it from a corpse, I get a zombie. But doesn't it have? Like hit dice related to the original creature, or no? No, it doesn't. It's just the stat block in the uh, monster manual from either a skeleton or a zombie. Lame. So, uh, you get a zombie. So I get two zombies. You get two zombies because of my my awesome class feature. But they look like ghouls. <laughs> yes, they look like ghouls. Yeah. All right. Um, there's some notes here. It's important. So they get uh, an additional five hit points each because of my class feature. And I get to add my proficiency bonus to their weapon damage rolls. And they get their own initiative, and I just order them around. OK, so they get awesome. Their own full turn. So roll me initiative for them. This is going to get confusing. Yep. Need some tokens for them, don't we? Yeah. And we'll see if they survive yet. Yeah, somehow first. under my control. I'm not sure how that's going to No, you can, you can just draw them. You can just draw two black. Two black dots. Exactly, and you can use them. And if they survive more, I'll find a, uh, I found tokens for them. Well, this is gonna be a thing. I'm gonna have these around. Uh, let's see their initiative. We'll see about that. Minus two. <laughs> <laughs> I like that optimism, Chucky. So their initiative is zero. I can see the same thing, Neil. Okay. Dash action. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's as far as I can get. Okay, good. And after that, we have Ferrin. What's happening, Ferrin? Finish them! Pretty much that. Uh, 17 against the top one. There's a hit. Plus 6. 13 damage. God. Ranger's OP. And then Horde Breaker on the guy below me for a hit. For 13 damage. And second shot. Oh, yeah, the top guy again. 14? 14 is a hit. I really can hit these guys on a 3? Yep. For 11 damage. The top, the guy on the top topples down. Another addition, another OP ranger. Looks like I'm not going to be your slave. Not over yet. Okay, and after that we have the zombies. Oh, uh, our turn zombies. Yeah, yeah. My so zombies. their speed is twenty, which is kind of pathetic. So, go on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. This is actually casting me a bonus action on each of my turns, turns to command them, but they keep following the order I give until I give them a different order, or the mission's accomplished. So keep okay, up with good. me. It's the current order. So uh, let's see next about Bowen yet again. Yeah, uh, making an attack. A 12 is a miss. Oh, is that miss? Do I have two yeah. channel divinities, or is that at level six? Level six. Okay. Um, that, yeah. However, I should. St we just took a rest, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. And after when we, yeah, so I have my bonus attacks, which I'll go ahead and use. 18. 18, point, 18 to attack is a hit. For six points of damage. Six points of damage. This guy is still up and going. And that will be my turn. Okay, on his turn, this guy just puts down his um, long sword and tries to touch you. Two times. Oh, natural 20. Bastard. Uh, 20 in itself. Okay, but 20 misses, but the natural 20 okay. is a hit. Okay, so do you meet a constitution saving throw? You fail, Ouch. and you lose. And maintain concentration. You lose five points of HP and five out of your max. Uh, again, non magical, right? But the max uh, is still drained, necrotic. right? Necrotic. What? Necrotic? It is necrotic. It is necrotic. Okay, yes. with their touch attack, it is necrotic. But they're... Yeah. Well, touch attack, necrotic, long sword is. Slashing. Slashing damage. So when the last guy died, his effects remained, correct? Uh, his effects remain, yes. His wrong swords and his armor, his whole body is still there. Okay, and that is about uh, it for these creatures, and we have Marfo yet again. We have one. I think I have to dash again. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have to dash again. But I can make it to there. And then I'll use my bonus action to, again, command my followers to keep up with me. <coughs> okay, command your followers to uh, keep up with you. Can I actually and... roll their HP? Since we were doing rolled HP instead of... Yeah, why not? For free. 1916, okay. Okay, write that down somewhere. I got it. Good, and next thing after that, we have Felin. Uh, I now say, surrender or we will eat your souls. And unless he responds immediately, <laughs> I kill him. He does not respond. Okay. D20 plus 11. 24. Eat soul. Um, and my second attack, I'm just going to roll both here, is a 16. So 2d8 plus 12. 18. Ooh, that was not good. 18. And... and... I go at him. And as you go, he, he's like, Ugh. and he falls over from the 18 points of damage. Okay, and out of combat. Well, Bowen looks like a withered old man at this point. Maybe not quite, but I'm reduced to like less than half of my max HP. Can I roll like uh, a can check yeah, to identify gonna... the monsters and figure out what is affecting... Definitely. Okay. So it's plus five. It's my arcana. I you have a proficiency in it. I yeah, I do. I haven't rolled an arcana check in so long, though. I actually don't remember what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's plus five right now. Wow. That you natural one, though. You should be proficient in arcana, shouldn't you? I am. Yes, he is. Your natural proficiency one. bonus should be plus three. Isn't your in plus three? Man's plus three, so I have proficiency. It should be plus six. Oh, it should be plus six. You're right. Doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Doesn't make a difference. I forgot uh, proficiency increases at fifth level. Yeah. Does that have to be arcana to identify this? Or can I justify like a religion? Uh, you can actually use a religion as well. Yes, religion is a yeah. appropriate ability. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, six. I don't know either. No idea. I'm thinking... Oh, God. So... Uh, I have a lesser restoration. Yeah. That is one disease or one condition. The condition can be blinded, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. I don't think that would do it. I'm thinking it might be a removed curse, which I don't have memed. Okay, rumble, rumble, so rumble. what do you guys do? Can I roll a check to see if I can identify the monsters? To see what they are? Mm, no, I would say that was the same thing as the other check you did. Okay. 
So you saw the monsters, you can make of them what you want to make. Without saying anything, I go to the next door and open it without stepping through. Like, turn the handle and push, or turn the handle and pull, but do not enter the doorway. You turn the handle and it, it, does, it does not move. Oh yeah? I try and batter it down. Try and batter it down. Four. I basically like kick it with my foot a few times. Exactly. And you're very Bowen! I uh is this human conscious? Uh the human there is not conscious, no. But he still seems to be bleeding. Bleeding or breathing? Breathing. breathing. I think he's been breathing. Yes. Breeding? He's breeding? He's breeding. Yes. The R All himself. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go take a look at these children. You take a look at the children and they, they're, they're like in the corner shaking rag, uh, only rags covering their corpses, their, their bodies. And... <laughs> Wait. Not that, not well, that, not that. now I definitely don't want to set them free. <laughs> they look at you and... Uh, Are you just say... drinking straight from a bottle of champagne, Justin? It's sparkling cider. Yeah, sparkling yeah. cider, <laughs> sparkling hard cider. No, so it's you, just sparkling cider. So you drink all this, all the champagne, and you filled up the, the glass with whiskey. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually debating getting some fireball and mixing the two together. I think that tastes pretty good. That is a thing. Usually, it's hard cider and fireball, but yeah. But I'm gonna try sparkling apple cider and fireball. Okay, so the uh, corpses of these two yeah. children are shivering in the corner, <laughs> and, and I'm about to banish them from this world. They're hugging each other and saying, I love you. I, I love you too. <laughs> oh my god. They seem to be, um, they seem to be like hugging intensely and not, and like looking at you. And <laughs> Is there, there's a lock, and we don't have yeah, a key. There's a lock of it, yes. Um, I'm gonna look at the corpses of the two ghouls or whatever those were for a key. You can easily find a chain around uh, one of the uh, creature's neck, and there is a there is a key attached to it. A single key. A single key. All right. I uh, I guess I'll test it on the door of the children. You test it on the door of the children, and the lock pops open. All right. I gesture the children to follow me. And then I'm gonna go and no, uh, free no. the other prisoners. No, no, no. We don't wanna go. The others. You want to stay here? The, the others went. They never came back. Don't make us. Come with me, or I'll make you. Do me an intimidation check. Intimidation? How about persuasion? <laughs> Whoops! Oh, wow. The wrong skill. <laughs> Um, uh, intimidation. It's just... Oh, I'm pretty intimidated. It... <laughs> <laughs> Intimidating. And they start following you. Uh, we rocked in three, but they do. I check those bodies to see if there's anything else interesting on them, you know, like money. Uh, you check the bodies and there is nothing on them. Useless. Did you guys say there were some doors you couldn't open? I, I might have a solution to that. Actually, okay, I'm gonna free this human first. What human? The uh, one that's unconscious. This one. Okay, so you open the door and that guy's just unconscious, still bleeding his. Uh... He doesn't seem that wounded, but there is a weird like puncture mark on his neck. Like two fangs, perhaps? Should I roll some no, sort no, of check? No, not two fangs. There? Not two fangs. Just like a puncture mark. One, only one. He's alive, though, right? He is alive. All right. Um, I'll drag him with me. Okay. Yo, where do you drag them? I mean, where I'm gonna go you... collect all the prisoners. Okay. You uh, release the human female, and she's like, "Thank you, thank you very much." How would have been next? They would have taken me. What do they do with? you when they come to take you she shakes her head I, I don't know the others never came back who collects them he's a there's a white faced almost no hair on their heads creatures with big claws and 
We'll get our armors on them. And there's the a robed That's guy. A robed guy? Does he look like insert description of Zial that I'm not sure if we've ever gotten a good one of here? We met, we, we met Zial. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I don't remember what he looked like. Do you? Uh, well, yeah, I, I was his apprentice. I mean, in character, you remember what he looked like, but can you describe him? He's tall and bald. And like skank, like skinny, like bony. You were about to say skanky, weren't you? <laughs> no, I was, trying to, I was trying to find a word that meant like lanky. There we go. Mm. Skinny lanky and lanky skinny. is skanky. I, it kind of makes sense. Well, <laughs> she, she looks at you and says, "No, he, he was tall and and skinny, but uh, we never really saw his face." Okay. Sounds like Zeal. Alright, so I free her. What is the other human? Uh, the other human is simply another human male. <clears throat> okay. Uh, is he conscious? He is unconscious as well. He is unconscious? He's unconscious as well. Yeah. All right. And the Duragar female is... The Duragar female is just, like, shaking in the corner. All right. I unlock. Does she come with, or...? She, like, starts moving towards you. Okay. <sighs> Can I get the men to wake up with, like, some... Uh, know, I splash mean, their face with water and sh you splash their face. I mean, the first water. guy got dragged like fifty feet. If he's he's gonna wake up, that would probably wake him up. <laughs> no, they do not wake up. I uh, want to try says, opening this door while they're doing all this stuff. The yeah. uh, the woman says they in in injected them with something a weird liquid, and they wouldn't wake up afterwards. They've been in the state for hours and hours. I... Okay, this place is fucked up. Mm, one second, one second. Okay, and uh, ask, like, what do you do, um, Bowen, after this? I'm, what do you, what do you mean? I've taken way too long. Why don't we go to the rest of the I, party? I opened this door, I just said. Which one? I this mean, one. you try and open it. You tr this is the door where you tried another. Uh, another oh, that's right. You... I remember that, and then I come down to this next door and try and open it. I'll try and open this door. I'll I'll make my zombie give me uh, a help, so I have advantage on the strength roll. Do good, it. Good idea. Yeah, it's it's gonna be really interesting having them just like follow me around. Oh, 20, natural twenty. The uh, door. Maybe you just break open the door. And inside, you see a small chamber with a uh, what seems to be a couple of bags around. Inside, surgical stencils. Uh, some of them rusted, some of them still uh, good to be used. And another door. I send my zombie to open that door. You send your zombie to open that door, and inside the, this door, there is a big, like, bloody table. Uh, there's still a corpse that's cut in half on it. Several saws, syringes, and scissors uh, hanging on the walls. The stench of blood hits your face fully, even if your zombie opens it from that distance. Uh, I tell the zombie to, to, I don't know, look around and see if there's a medicine chest or something that says cure on it. <laughs> <sighs> He can understand language, he just can't respond. Okay, so he, yeah, he, I mean, exactly. He looks around, and then he looks at you again. Okay, look for it. I tell him to look for anything valuable. It, this is a very different concept of who finds something valuable. A zombie finds... Valuable to me, valuable? like gold or magical weapons, or weapons of any kind, or armor. He just sits there idly. Okay, come back out. He comes back out. I close that door. I think this is where they were doing their medical experiments. Uh, I don't really want to go in there because it smells really bad, but you guys can check it out if you want to. That's okay. Let's. Just, I'm going to go down here instead, and I <laughs> attempt to open this door. Okay, you attempt to open that door. Give me a second. Uh, so you open the door and... 
you basically just dust and rubble um, hits your face as you see that basically all this room is caved in. Okay, well, I move on to the next one. Okay. Yeah, does it look like the ceiling collapsed, or...? It looks like the ceiling and the wall to the side are collapsed in. Weird. Alright, move on to the next door. Okay, and after that, let's see about that. Uh, moving to the next door, you reveal the same, uh, the same thing as happened here as well. This is the whole wall over here just like fell into. Yeah. Guess this castle is getting a little bit old. And then I go back. Hold on. I disbelieve the illusion and walk into the rubble. You walk, you try and walk into the rubble, and you bruise your face a bit from the stones. It's like literally a sheet of rubble that I just like, slam walk my face into his into. face. Maybe <laughs> yeah. he stubs a toe. Like there's, you know, it's it's sloped, right? You you would step on something. You wouldn't just like. I mean, I guess the rubble could be inverted yeah. somehow. It's kind of like this. It's kind of like this because the wall fell into. Okay. So like, pff, oh, it's real. It's, it's real. <laughs> All right, fine. I go to the end of the hallway and look left. Uh, one second. It's getting cold in here, and I need to close the window. So you open up, and you see just a door. Give me an intelligence check. All right. D20. Sure, someone else doesn't want to do this one? <laughs> Four. Okay, yeah, continue on. Well, uh, it's just a d hallway? It's just five, a hallway. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, like 50 feet? Okay. Instead, I try and open these double doors. Okay, you try and open those double doors, and they are closed well that's why i'm trying to open them yeah they're closed i mean they're locked oh locked gotcha um <laughs> i will once again try to bash down the doors mumbling to myself one of these times it's gotta work come on i'll, I'll have my zombie assistant oh cool so that means advantage 12 <laughs> wow 12 on the advantage not enough to bust it open though i don't think you were meant for busting open doors somehow you know i think you're right where where the hell did bowen go and i yell back bowen Bowen! Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm probably just wrapping up with the prisoners. I want to ask the elven female if she is feeling brave enough to try and get out of here on her own, or if she would like to wait for us to help her out. She says, I just... we, we know how to get back. Alright, can you take these children with you? She nods her head. They'll behave, and I give the children an intimidating glare. <laughs> Uh, does the Durogar woman look friendly? The Durogar woman has not spoken at all. Her face is plain, still worn and white. And, Do you uh, speak? She is sunken in. Do you speak but common? She... Yes. Um, you're... We have freed your people from, from this castle, and they have fled down, down the Jagged Tooth. Um, will you behave? Will you travel with this with this woman and not try and do anything stupid? She um, she nods her head. I see, do you know where the where the armory is? Um. Yes. All right. The two of you take these children, get some weapons on your way out, and flee from here. Thank you. I, Thank I, you. I say to the Durgar, I will be watching you. If you try anything, if you betray this elf once you get back to your people, I will hunt you down. Give the children can tell you how intimidating I am. <laughs> check. Grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> uh, mm, maybe a little less intimidating when it's not children, but that'll work. She looks at you and just nods her head. Okay. Um, so uh, the two unconscious men... Um, can I roll? I'm just gonna roll some kind of, I guess, an arcana check. There we go. Do I think that they are cursed or infected or something along those lines? 
you think like, they are infected with something. Yeah, so I'm going to lock them back up in a cell and come back to them later. Each in their own cell. Yep, each in their own cell. And so I guess these up. top two shells of cells up here. Okay. And with that, I will return to the party. So the two women and the two children are off to the armory and then trying to escape. And the men will come back to you later. And you hear, Bowen! Bowen! Yeah. I come back. And then just as Bowen rounds the corner, I kick the door open with a 21. <laughs> kick the door open with a 21. And, well, what you see inside... We'll have to find out after the break. Ah, uh, dun, dun, dun. Inside, we'll have to find out after the break. See dun, dun, dun. <laughs>